French and we're sitting here inside like, no, Neil, just taking a quiet break from the um, arts festival happening all outside the door. Um, we're midway through. How successful has it been? Amazing successful, yeah, so far. Um, like we have a theme, kind of a general theme every year. The theme this year is the Olympics. And I think that the fact that our local Olympians are doing so well, the weather has been brilliant. It hasn't rained since the festival started. There's a great buzz around town, you know, here, all the cafes, all this, and around the streets, I think, yeah, it's definitely it, it really so does far, feel yeah. like everybody's in festive mode, and even the t-shirt you're wearing, there's lots of people um, in costume, There is, say. yeah, 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 and, yeah, like, this Big is the 15th, effort? 15th year of the festival, and it's definitely, it's, it's, it's an easier sell, I think, every year, there's more kind of buy-in, there's more, um, like I said, that you don't have to convince people as much, to come to things. Most yes. of the main events are practically selling out or sold out. Um, the street party, the first, the, the opening street party was a great success again. Yeah. Everyone just loves dressing up, as you say, costumes, and the town is looking brilliant. But I suppose what at the point I was getting at with all the t-shirts around town, there's a lot of volunteers this year. There is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say we've put 30 or 40 volunteers this year, and we need lots of volunteers, Do you know, the more, that there seems, that there's loads on this year. Like there's three or four different events on at the same time, so obviously, you can't just be a small core group, you need volunteers, so it's brilliant to get them and yeah, lovely to see the t-shirts around. Yeah, and I'm a stickler for numbers. It's an 11 day festival. Do you have any idea how many actual events? I'd say there's definitely a hundred or more than a hundred because there's, like, there's Resonate, which is another kind of festival within a festival. And all those events have been full as well. Um, if you ask me what's on now today, I'd have to go and look at the program myself. There's, yeah. like some days there's more events than others. There's exhibitions on every day. Actually, speaking of the program, you have it here in front of you. Um, it's really good user-friendly book because you just open the the book uh, to a day and you can just pick and choose what you want. Yes, yeah. that's the middle page of the book. That's the, book, the page that's open in most people's booklets. It's a day-by-day -day guide of what's on. Yeah. So you can see there, uh, here we are, the Wednesday, three plays in a day by the one and only Michael Murphy, amazing actor. The first yeah. one was just on. Another one at 4 o'clock, another one at 8 o'clock. Tomorrow there's loads of events on. Um, so that's a handy day by day, but if, if you're just into music, you find the music section. If you're just into you know, spoken word, you find that yes. um, exhibition. Uh, speaking of music, I just heard um, Moran Bradley being interviewed on the radio and I thought she was amazing and lo and behold, she's in the program. Yeah. Um, your knowledge, I suppose, of music and the fact that the festival has become popular has made it a, a good venue for, for stars and yeah, musicians? Yeah. Over the years, when you see with Maureen Bradley last night, she was she's just turned 17. So my brother Declan was introducing me. Jerry Douglas was playing as the second part of the bill. He said he has 16 Grammy Awards, and Maureen Bradley was up to very recently 16 years of age. And for her, like that was to play with him, and it was great to see a very special night from both sides. For him, like passing on, he said like the music is in very safe hands when you see her, a 17 year old from Donegal, playing the music that's over 100 years old. Yes. Um, some of the acts we've had here in recent years, we had Roseanne Cash, we had uh, the Blind Boys of Alabama, we had Lady Smith, Black Mombasa, amazing acts to bring to Skibreen. Yes. So we started off 15 years ago as kind of a small... Bijou? Yeah, but it's grown <laughs> and yeah, people want to come here and we've built up good contacts through other festivals and with yeah. other artists. So. And there's another thing too, the fact that there's so much um, homegrown talent, like Adrian McCarthy's documentary, Pull Like a Dog, is being featured, but also Pat Collins, that they may face the rising sun, yeah. an award-winning film on Thursday night, tomorrow night. Yeah, Pat, I was a family member of this when we called a meeting 15 years ago, Pat was at the meeting, and brilliant, involved himself and Sharon, his wife, for the first number of years. He's got busier and he's produced some amazing films since, but I'm great to see him get the recognition he deserves that they may face the Rising Sun Best Picture at the Emerald Awards a few months ago. We're delighted to show that and it's sold out tomorrow night with Owen Hall. Very good. I'm going to end this short interview with a stupid question. This festival is only half finished, but what are you looking for next year? <laughs> well, where can you oh, go after geez, this? I don't know. I know it's, and every year we say, "Oh, what can, what can you do? What can you do better, or how can you make it better?" I don't think you have to make it bigger to make it better. Can I think that? Um, well, let me put it this way: for example, would the um, filmmaking, the fact that we now have a studio, yeah, in town, would that yeah. be a, an aspect That's of it? That's the Westcar Film Studios. Yeah, we'd, we'd be delighted and would love to get that involved, and even it's a huge space to run mm -hmm. events, even as well. Like we have the Town Hall in Skibbereen, which is a brilliant venue. 
I think that needs to be more used apart from this festival. This yes. festival shows what that town hall is. Do you know, um, I did a, a short article for this week's uh, Southern Star, and in it uh, as well, I mentioned the fact that there are so many good venues. The town hall, Dillon, the Arts Centre, yeah. there isn't anything like it in any other town in West Cork. Lissard is a perfect venue. Yeah. There's so many good venues yeah. around. Abbey Shorey Church, yes. beautiful venue for Kenny Goodman concert at the weekend. Um, the local GA club got uh, funding recently to their hall, is now a community hall, we have yes. events over there. A brilliant exhibition there for young kids, it's a free, it's on all week, uh, Puff and Rock, in conjunction with Cartoon Saloon, the amazing studio in Kilkenny. But yeah, we're, and even our exhibition spaces, this venue here where we're in is kind of a success story of the Arts Festival. We used it one year as a, a museum yes. and it's, a year, it's the year a, after it was open as a coffee shop and look at it now. It's yeah, like, it's a gorgeous venue, yeah, but there absolutely. are so many gorgeous venues in Skibreen and um, if I may pay you a compliment, it's festivals like um, the Skibreen Arts Festival that brings home how special yeah, um, yeah. a place and a community it is. Absolutely, yes. Uh, so I think the future is very bright for Skibreen Arts Festival. Thanks, Brenda. Thanks, Jordan.